Today, the questions we will answer and explain are fairly simple. Should a child be allowed and let to play airsoft? To break down the topic, there are a few things to focus on. First, understand what airsoft actually is. Second, how much it costs and last but not least, whether it is even safe for kids to go out and play. You are probably familiar with the airsoft is about hitting your opponent part of the game. However, what is usually underrated is that airsoft is a sport, not a war training. Without going too deep here, every sport has to fulfill three criteria. It has to have some skills involved. A level of athleticism, 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 let's put it on the screen. A level of athleticism and a standardized scoring system. Airsoft has everything. Aiming, tactical and technical skills are present in every part of the game. Also, athleticism greatly helps when becoming better. And as for the scoring system, that's kind of obvious. So yeah, airsoft is not playing war. And as every other sport, airsoft has everybody bring teamwork, tactical thinking, friendly competition and strategic planning to the table. But what about the military aspect? As much as we are emphasizing airsoft to be a sport, at the end of the day, there are adults running around in military uniforms and with real looking guns or replicas as airsofters might call them. That brings us over to safety. Airsoft is very safe. It might come up as a surprise, but you could probably argue that injuries are more likely to happen in sports such as football than airsoft. Unlike traditional BB guns, airsoft uses 6mm BBs designed for the sport. For comparison, paintball markers are around 10 to 12 times stronger than airsoft replicas, yet people still enjoy and look forward to playing. The only thing to keep in mind is the right safety gear. But where do you need to be extra cautious? Critical areas to protect are the eyes, teeth and ears. This is especially important for kids. It's not a bad idea to start with a full face protection, just to be sure. A good paintball mask can serve the purpose perfectly. Other areas to consider are the, the fingers and the neck. A hit here can sting a bit, but it's nothing serious. Yet, wearing a higher collar, as well as some protective gloves, does no harm. The same goes for knee pads, as Airsoft includes a lot of crouching as well. On the personal safety page, there is one more thing to prevent injuries, and that's proper shoes. Hiking ones do the trick when navigating the terrain. After all, Airsoft is an outdoor sport. What makes Airsoft so safe besides the protective gear is the field. You see, official public fields are often fairly strict when it comes to the safety rules. Things like no full auto in the buildings, power limits on replicas or no pyrotechnics are what makes the difference. Make sure you find a place with similar strict rules for your first games as no limit games can lead to unnecessary problems. If you as a parent are still concerned, you might want to simply go and play as well. It might end up being a nice bonding experience with some action memories. Now that safety concerns are hopefully out of the way, let's briefly touch on the costs. For starters, one doesn't need much. We actually covered the entire topic in another video, but just to briefly illustrate. It is recommended to rent the gear for the first few games. Find a field that allows for this option. After that, we are looking at starter kits between 150 to 300 bucks, depending on what you buy and where you buy it. The entry fee can be anywhere from 5 to 40 bucks, depending on where you're located. Compare this to ice hockey, gymnastics or skiing, Airsoft is, uh, is pretty cheap actually. If you are on a budget, you can have a look at our video 8 tips to save money in Airsoft. One more thing worth mentioning with Airsoft is the community, especially when there are people starting out everybody is very helpful. This includes advice on how to play, where to move, or in the case of a broken replica, how to fix it. The reason here is simple. Airsoft is a relatively niche sport, which means that everyone generally tries to attract newcomers. So, is it a good idea to have a kid pick up Airsoft as his or hers hobby? If done safely and within official fields with well-defined rules, the answer is a resounding yes. For many people at Norwich, Starting with Airsoft as kids changed our lives for the better. We found friends, a great outdoor activity, we learned to tech on electronics and some even found a job because of Airsoft. Lastly, one more point we have to touch on is relevant mostly if you are a parent who's decided to let a kid play Airsoft. You have probably seen a few media outlets where less than bright individuals went out and shot at people or threatened others with airsoft guns. This is something that hurts the airsoft sport the most. 
And all of us, be it companies or players themselves, work to prevent it. If you have a kid new to Airsoft, explain the importance of safety not only to oneself, but also to others. There are three rules that everyone should remember. Airsoft replicas should never be visible in public. Unless you are at home or on the field, keep them in a case. Airsoft replicas can cause harm. Shooting at people as a prank, shooting animals or similar ideas are stupid and can rightfully get you in trouble. Finger off the trigger, unless you want to shoot. Finger stays off the trigger always, on the fields, at home, everywhere and use the safety too. And well, that wraps it up for the day. We hope to have shed some light on Airsoft for kids. And if you want to understand more about Airsoft, check out our channel. We have many more videos that will help you out. See you in the next one. And also uh, one more thing that just came to my mind off the script right now is that kids actually already play games like Battlefield or Call of Duty on computers and Airsoft is kind of the same thing just you know with your body you have physical activity you meet actual people you make actual friends from your neighborhood so why not it's a good replacement for a computer